comes to softening light, bigger is actually better. That is why it's become the norm to attach these massive soft boxes to the ends of single point mono lights. And that is where most people stop. We buy these expensive LED mono lights, we put on a soft box and we kind of call it a day. There are literally thousands of Bowens mount light modifiers on the market today, from soft boxes to Fresnel attachments, barn doors, projection lenses, different levels of grid cloth, the list goes on. One of my favorite and most used of these modifiers is the Lantern Softbox. The Lantern Softbox is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It is a large spherical diffuser that when attached to a Bowens LED mono light, shoots light out in every direction. They come in a few different sizes and styles. My recommendation is to find a size that best complements the wattage of your light and the space that you have available. The one I find myself using the most is the Godox CS85D, a 33 inch lantern that strikes a good balance between size, weight, and price. Being a 33 inch lantern, the source is big enough to light up a small room, but still small enough to be easy to set up and tear down, can be easily repositioned, and is still light enough that you can use it on a regular light stand. It is also quite affordable, coming in at $79. It is one of the cheapest ways to get a ton of light into a scene. Like I said in the beginning, bigger is better when it comes to softening light. On larger shoots where space really isn't a problem, uh, using a book light or shooting through a frame with some grid cloth or diffusion is the best possible way of softening light. But for smaller studios and for most of you watching, a 30 to 35 inch lantern is going to provide more than enough light that is usable in so many different scenarios. Outside of studio shots like this one, the Lantern Softbox has long been my go-to for shooting B-roll, top downs, or just adding some ambient light to a scene. Let's take this scene for example. We have a couple of V-flats set up here with the subject in the center. The first thing that you're gonna notice when shooting with such a large source is shadows. You can place the light overhead or to the side. Either way, you're going to get very soft light that wraps around the subject and doesn't give us harsh shadows, which is something that you get a little more of when using a softbox. Now, there is a downside, and that is because the light is shot out in all directions. If you would want a background to be darker than a foreground, you're going to need something like a softbox overhead to give you more direct lighting. Looking at two photos of the exact same scene, one shot with a lantern, the other shot with a top-down softbox, you can see just how much brighter the background is when using a lantern. You can also see the softening of shadows. Both have their place in a gaffer's kit, and for good reason. Now, if we switch to a larger scene like here in the kitchen, you can see by flying the light overhead, we can light this entire scene with just one 80-watt LED mono light. Another benefit to having such a large source is let's say you want to allow your talent to move around within the scene. We aren't getting hot spots like you would with more direct lighting. If you move from one side of the frame to another, the light intensity stays relatively the same. To help show how this differs from something like a softbox, I am currently being lit by a lantern and now I will switch over to being lit by a softbox you immediately notice just how much more direct and dramatic the lighting is when using a softbox. The scene feels more moody, and maybe that is the look you're going for. There's not one light modifier or style out there that is gonna work for every scene. Sometimes you want drama, sometimes you want a large soft light source to fill an entire room. Now, the point of this video isn't to say we should all sell off our soft boxes and shoot everything with a lantern, but hopefully what it does do is show that there are great alternative ways to light a scene simply by changing what you put in front of the light. For myself, I really enjoy the look and softness I get from lantern lights. If you've never tried one, I recommend either buying one or getting your hands on one to try out. I think you're gonna really enjoy how versatile they are and just what your shots look like when lit with a lantern. As always, if you have any questions, leave those in a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another one.